Welcome back. Another question to try to piece all the concepts together. Okay, right. So we have a circuit here, and they would like you to calculate total effective of the circuit, effective resistance of the circuit, calculate the reading on the ammeter, and hence or otherwise calculate the reading on the voltmeter. All right. So let's put down our Ohm's law first, in case we need it. Right. Okay. Let's map out the current flow so that you have a better understanding how it goes. So from the long side, which is positive side, so we are drawing conventional current flow. So this is like so. Let's call this I one. So once it hits here, all right, nothing is going to flow through the voltmeter because it has very high resistance. All right, so it is still I one. Then it comes here. All right, there are actually two pathways. So it actually splits up. I two, I three. Okay, all right. And then goes back here and it's still I1 again. Okay, so this is you have a better picture. And from there, we will be able to do part A quite well. So total effective resistance. So there are two parts. First is this part. Let's settle the parallel part first. Okay, this part. Okay, let's call this RA. Okay. So A. RA is equals to 1 over RA, because they are in parallel, is equals 1 third plus 1 third is equals to 2 thirds. So RA, you flip it around, is 3 over 2, is 1.5 ohms. Okay, So this whole thing, you see as one big resistor, they are actually connected in series with the 2 ohms. So R total is equals to 1.5, which I got it from here, plus 2 is 3.5 ohms. Voila! First question done. Okay. Okay. B. Calculate the reading on the ammeter. So what they are trying to find is what is I1? What is the current that's flowing through the entire circuit? So this is where we apply Ohm's law. So V equals equals to IR. So V here is the EMF, the the electromotive force that's powering the entire circuit. It's five. I is what we want to find. And the effective resistance for the circuit is what we found here. 3.5. So I is equals to 5 over 3.5. And you will get 1.43 ampere. Okay, All right. So second one. Third one. Hence or otherwise, calculate the reading on the voltmeter. Okay, but before we go to that, just want to uh, make sure that you have a slight observation. When we calculate total resistance of resistors in parallel, the effective resistance will always be lower than the lowest resistance. So in this case, it's all 3, but effective resistance is 1.5 is lesser than 3. So let's say if we have maybe 5 resistors connected in parallel, and the smallest resistance is 2 ohms, your total effective resistance will be less than 2 ohms. All right? You will find that out next time when you do more questions. All right, back to part C. Hence or otherwise, calculate this reading. So here, we are calculating the PD across the 2 ohm resistor. Okay, all right. So we just have to ask ourselves what is the current that's flowing through it. So V is equal to IR. Current that's flowing through the 2 ohm resistor is what we found to be 1.43. And the resistance is just 2. So you will get... 2.86 volts, right? Okay. I know they didn't ask part D, but usually sometimes they like to ask part D. Hence or otherwise, again, find the potential difference across a 3 ohm resistor. So how do you do that? Do you even need to use V equal to IR? No need. You just need to take 5 minus 2.86 and you will get the PD across the 3 ohm resistor. All right. Next question. 